This month's exhibit is the Best of Gorge exhibition, which is an annual show that is juried. This year's jurors were Christy O'Neill and Yvonne Wakefield. Um, so all the work in the show from folks who live in the Columbia River Gorge. First Friday is important because it builds community among the artists in the region. It allows people to have their work seen and to also engage with folks as they're viewing the work. Um, so it's important to come out to be supportive and to also find out more about works that you might be interested in and have the opportunity to speak with the artist. This year, Best of the Gorge was a little bit different. We opted to invite artists to submit work that was made either during quarantine or in response to many of the things that are going on, whether that be the Black Lives Matter movement, their own experience dealing with a pandemic, or just how they were dealing with everything. So that ranges from landscape work to a large steel sculpture that's more political in nature, to very realistic paintings that also have some subversive content. The piece behind me is by Robin Johnson and it's titled I Can No Longer Shop Happily. She's kind of talking about her own personal experience with trying to go to the grocery store. The opening for this exhibition is this Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. If you are uncomfortable coming to the gallery, we'll also have a live feed so that you're able to watch from home. The rest of the month, there's not a lot of folks in the space. It's a very safe space to come visit. We have hand sanitizer at the door, so you can feel free to come see the exhibition in person. And we are open Tuesday through Saturday, so feel free to come by and see the show. First, say 
a great bow to all the talent in this room. Yay. Oh, and if you're here and your name is called, please come up. We have a good day for you. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On the Road to Happiness by Susan J. Harrington. Susan J. Harrington. Susan J. Oh, 
is often rooted, rooted in traditional craft media, but then using them in a more subversive way. Um, so this piece is fused glass to make the kind of iceberg looking puddle. Um, and then the skull is actually a um, slip cast in ceramic of a human skull with plaster over it. Um, and then I used the canary more recently um, just as a symbol of a creature that we've kind of used <laughs> as a warning system in the past. Um, so my work really deals a lot with rapid climate change and other um, issues facing us globally. Um, so this is just one piece in a series, and quite a bit of it will actually be at the Dallas Art Center in October, if you're interested in seeing more. <laughs> Okay, now on to our third place winner for the rest of the gorge. It goes to Chris Cartier for Pandemia. exhibition that was, that was actually supposed to happen this weekend and it's a regular exhibition I have and I was painting these the idea for the exhibition was I was going to paint these cre these figures with gas masks and orange jumpsuits and it was called American Apocalyptic and I was starting this series in like probably November of last year and as I was painting these figures the pandemic was started so I'm like this is not good <laughs> Really, what's happening around me? So, uh, but I kind of mustered on with all that stuff, and uh, ended up the, the exhibition sort of got really chiseled down and canceled. So, I, a lot of them I still have in my studio. But this was one I did as as I was doing these other pieces. I was like, I'm just going to do one having to do with the pandemic. And so that was this piece right here. And I just wanted to put like this, you know, old old white guy businessman like. Uh, facing off against this sort of uh, universal man and kind of like this confrontational pose where there's sort of this old city that's decrepit and falling down in the background. And it's kind of like sort of, it was my sort of uh, visual representation of some of the things I was seeing in our culture. And so that's where this painting came from. And that's, so that's me by the way. And then, uh, which I pose, my wife and I pose these things all the time. And I was super funny. And that's like so some guy took a picture of on the street. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now on the second place for Robin Johnson. I can no longer shout.